Good morning. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. been standing on this promise this morning. I've uh, been having a hard time with my oldest daughter, who is now a teenager. And, you know, this morning I realized I'm, I'm losing control. Like, she doesn't listen. Uh, she's becoming her own person, which is a good thing. It's just hard for me as a parent to watch her uh, step into those things and sometimes poor choices. But this morning, uh, in my frustration, I was journaling and talking to God about it. And I found this promise and I thought, you know, I have to choose to believe. And so I prayed to God and just asked for him to um, bring revelation in her heart, mind, and soul of himself and that she would experience his presence. And, you know, I was trying to walk out the promise of that scripture. And I realized after I prayed that even though I have doubt and unbelief, I can confess those things, which I did. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to thank God in advance and exercise faith. I'm going to choose to believe that he's going to do these amazing things in my daughter's life, in his time, in his ways, um, that'll be impactful to her. And so then at that point, I started to realize, wow, I want to not only pray that in faith, but now I respond in worship, choosing to praise God and worship him um, before he's even moved and done things. And as you see in the background, uh, I have Joe Day's album, After Light. I think it's called After Light. Half Light. Sorry about that. Um, and it was playing while I was journaling and everything. And, you know, I just got up and I started praising God right for it in advance. I started thanking him for what he's going to do in my daughter's life. And I felt the presence of the Lord come upon me in a way that I was like, wow, um, it encouraged me to believe. And I think that when I start feeling doubtful or um, discouraged, I need to confess it, I need to pray, and I need to worship and stand on God's promises, read the scripture again. So these are some of the things that I'm trying to walk out and practice. Hopefully that encourages you to do the same. Stand on God's promises and worship Him because He's good. So hope you're having a great day and it's going to be okay. We're going to get through it. And I'll see you next time.